Ward Pride. We're so excited to have the Ukraine women's national team here. Ah! They're the number one in the world at the moment. Just a little defense. They're the best of the best. It's mind blowing. It is a great opportunity to train in because in Ukraine it is a little difficult. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Okay. Have the Ukrainian team here, it's quite an honor. It's, it's a two-fold exchange where we're supporting them in their training and their need to have adequate training facilities and access to have their coaches and our coaches share technique. It was a hard time for us, so we're trying to without lights, without water, without uh, warm, so it was blackout. This is unbelievable to have the best of the best in the entire world, senior level freestyle. There's a bronze medalist of Olympian on this team. There is a fifth Olympic. There is all kinds of phenomenal talent. World champions, the best of the best. Having them come, not only from a physical standpoint, but working with our group gives them so much confidence. I just worked out with an Olympian. I just drilled with an Olympian. Winners of the 2022 United Women's Freestyle Wrestling World Cup, Ukraine's national women's wrestling team spent two months in the United States promoting the sport and sharing the struggles of their war-torn country is facing at home. From Ukraine, they traveled first to Iowa, training with the National Wrestling Powerhouse University of Iowa, then the University of Dubuque, Cornell College, Avila University, and then the U.S. Olympic Training Center in Colorado Springs, Colorado, and then Greensboro College in North Carolina. Okay. Smiles and signs welcome the team to each city. And then 10 a.m. Morning program, lunch again. After a little shut-eye and a Greensboro College campus and city tour, the team went to work in the gym. Gosh. other cities, Greensboro greeted the team warmly, eager to connect and learn from our new friends. Her husband actually is fighting for the country. He's in the front lines. Their stories touched and inspired us, and not just the adults. <laughs> Local students could not contain their excitement seeing the world champions in action. Impressive skills on the mat. But even more impressive is what they do off the mat. Our work is having hope and belief that you can do what you want to do in wrestling. This is her first place in my life. Uh, every day you train in not only physical and mentally too. Lessons that apply to a lot more than wrestling. Raise your hand and say, I will. I will. Commit. Commit. To academic. Academic. Excellent. Excellent. I will. I will. Commit. Commit. To academic. Excellent. Of all whose lives were impacted by these talented and resilient women, the athletes who dream of wrestling success will undoubtedly never forget this visit. Wrestling with these women, it's like there's more out there to wrestling if I really want to go get it. Um, and just being able to learn from them and get their intensity and their training, it's it's insane and I know it's, it's going to help us level up in, in future matches. Having them here is an incredible honor, number one, and we appreciate them choosing Greensboro College. Arm drags. They've taught us a lot. They, the mental toughness, the aspect of it, they've taught us moves I didn't even know existed. Circle drag that left side. It's amazing. I've learned so much from them. Hop. And like they taught us like new ways to warm up and like different techniques and stuff to like help us get better. I think in a way it's inspiring knowing that their situation, they're still coming over here, taking the time uh, to teach us not only not only that but like teach us about themselves even through like your toughest times you can still get up and go out there and teach others and help other people and still have a smile on your face despite whatever's going on in your life I'm wrestler but I am woman so it is very cool so you can be strong woman yeah because I'm wrestler the exchange and the relationships these young athletes will make will last a lifetime. And for me, it's the welcome mat for these young ladies, not only to have the welcome mat here at Greensboro College, but to also have a bigger understanding of the world of wrestling and women's wrestling is so valuable as they get excited about the sport and also want to get involved. I see a lot of girls. I wasn't really expecting to see this many girls out here. And I think it's really cool how they got the women's Ukraine team out here. I'm Oksana Livac. I am a European champion. 
and bronze world medalist and fifth place in Olympic Games in Tokyo. So. It makes me feel like I can do it. Like it just gives me a boost of confidence. And I think it's very, very important to get little kids exposed to the international style of wrestling. Um, so here, we're here to learn and grow and um, see what other countries have to offer. It's like a dream come true, you know, you get to work with Olympic uh, champions. Irina Kolodenko, uh, two times European champion, uh, bronze world medalist uh, and uh, bronze Olympic medalist. You don't really get this experience, you know, in wrestling. It's a once in a lifetime thing. I want uh, to win a gold Olympic medal. It is my big goal. So, and then we will see what will what will be. So, after their visit to Greensboro, the team made two more stops: Ursinus College in Pennsylvania and Princeton University in New Jersey. Then the long trip home to keep going after their dream as individuals, as potential Olympians, as a team, and as Ukrainians. We didn't know this team a couple days ago. We'd never met them. All right. But I want to share something about the power of the sport of wrestling. It's a family worldwide. And it's a family worldwide because of this fact. This is not an easy sport to do. Common ground is that it's a tough sport and you have to be tough-minded to do it. So every one of you here, every single one of you here, I applaud you for making it here today. I applaud you for being in this sport. And this sport can take you everywhere you want to go. One, two, three, Ukraine! <laughs> A special for me, it is a um, change experience, it is a share of support, it is a share of friendship, it is a share of love, each other, it is very, very important for me.